Put your spears down. What happened? Now let me explain. Don't move. Hello, my friend. I know this guy. He was scoffing little booze bottles on the plane. That's right. I've still got some. Keep your hands where they are. Please. I just didn't see who you were. You can't be too careful when you're alone out here. Can I stand up now? I believe I'm sitting on an ant farm. Thanks. Marcel, seat's 29A. Shall we go back to my fire now? Marcel, pleased to meet you. I thought I was the only one who'd survived. Pierre Claire. The soprano. Marcel de Silva. The PhD. Perhaps you know my thesis on Amazonian toads. Shall we? It's the least the airline can do for us. This doesn't look so good. But the splint should help you. You a doctor? Dr. Alex Kennedy. Mainly a heart valve man. So, that hurt. Oh, yeah. So, who are the rest of you? I'm Andrew Talbot. I teach biology. High school level, but... Uh... So, Marcel, do you know your way around the Amazon? Much as anyone can, I guess. Oh, thank you. Uh, Karen Oldham. Oh, um, 29A. Roman Coke, right? Um, Jim Stack. And what do you do in the real world, Jim? I'm a mechanic. Well, an apprentice. Oh, easy, Doctor. It is broken. Will Bauer. I just go to school. Here you go. It's the best I can do. Thanks. Has anyone found any food? No. Ah, oh, well. I'll catch you some fish tomorrow. And there's a tuberous plant I know that's really quite tasty. Um, just one question. How now did you get this fire started? Ah, now that's a woodman's secret. You wouldn't have to have any smokes, would you, Marcel? A few. May I? Thank you. See? Yeah. Thank you. To the lucky few. And to all our fellow passengers less fortunate. Mm. Here, here. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure we are the lucky ones. We're alive. That's a start. Do you have any idea where we are? Yeah, I do. We're right near the heart of Motfa. What is that, a village? Sorry. Motfa. M-O-T-F-A. Middle of the Amazon. I think you know what the F stands for. <laughs> Marcel, does that mean you don't know where we are? Here, roughly. The first city's there. Everywhere else is the middle of nowhere. How far from here to there exactly? Far. Like walking from Kansas to Florida. And you think we are the lucky ones? We could do it. If we stay lucky. And follow the rules. What rules? Excuse me, Will. Oh, my God, kill it, kill it. He is following me. No. No, these rose-colored ones aren't aggressive. At least, not the little ones. Little? So, the rules. I've been lost in the rainforest once before. First rule. Stay away from any native settlements. 
Gold prospectors have made a lot of enemies here. Some of these tribes will kill you on sight. Even the kids tried to attack us. They looked almost Stone Age. Yeah. Like I said, we're in Mott for now. Rule two, stick to the rivers wherever we can. The Amazon's one giant watershed. Even this little stream should lead to another, and another, and another, and out. Rule three, watch where you walk in the daylight. Almost everything here can hurt you. Now, I can show you what plants, bugs, and toads can kill. Just assume all the snakes can do the same. Well, why don't we only watch where we walk in the daytime? Everything looks like a snake when it's dark. So, we stay put at night. Four, don't eat what you don't know. Last rule, stick with me. Because at least I know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it. Maybe a little thinner, but we'll be okay. Honest. Thank you. Yeah, I'm in. Whatever you say, Marcel, you're a man. It looks like you're out on your hump, Doc. And what's that supposed to mean? Uh, nothing. Just a minor disagreement or two. But I have to say, as impressed as I am, I'm not going anywhere with you. Why? Because it's standard practice after an air crash to return and salvage anything you can, even if they already have their little black boxes. Am I right, flight attendant? I hope. Yeah, well, I know so. So why would I spend weeks hiking out of this hellhole when a rescue could be hours away? Yeah, good point, Doctor. That was my rule six. <laughs> I'll tuck this away for tomorrow. We can toast our rescuers. I don't mean to complain, Doctor, but I think you did a better job on the boys' arm than mine. Uh, actually, I didn't do that. It was there when I found him, along with that cross or whatever it is on his forehead. <sighs> Real spooky Motfa stuff. <laughs> now that's one to tell my students. So you're really a professor, huh? Part-time. No tenure. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, I mean, come on. The professor. The movie star. Oh, close enough. <laughs> the doc, he wants to be the skipper. And then, of course... You call me, Marianne, I will be in you with my shoe. I was thinking more uh, Mrs. Howell, but... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gilligan. <laughs> Man. <sighs> Is there anything I should know about? Not particularly. Okay. But if we end up taking Marcel's long way home, I'd like to know everything I'm up against. What brought you to Brazil? I won it on The Price is Right. The game show? No way. You're lying. No, no, yeah. I guessed how much a frost-free Frigidaire costs. Bob Barker's all like, young man, you're going to Rio de Janeiro. All expenses paid, trip of a lifetime. I mean, it was amazing. <laughs> Didn't really know what Rio was, but uh, it sounded pretty great. <laughs> I'm in awe. That's <laughs> unbelievable. What's so funny? Well, I'll let him tell you. We need more firewood. The price is right. Really? Gotcha. Oh, 